Hi. Like many people, I do have some minor fears and phobias. Some things worry me, but there's nothing really that affects my life. How about you? Do you have any fears or phobias? Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't really like very crowded places, like when the tube is really busy. Um, I think for me the biggest one is being scared of heights, which I find really illogical. Um, and it's something that's developed as I've got older. I wasn't scared of heights when I was little. I have a, a real fear of height, and, uh, or flying even as well. Um, I don't know if it's strange, I do have a slight fear of flying. I don't like spiders. <laughs> from childhood. I'm scared of rats. And when I walked from college to my flat, uh, there's um, lots of bins and lots of rats. That's pretty scary. I'd say that probably a, a phobia that a lot of people have today is, that I share, is uh, committing, uh, potentially looking at getting married uh, at a young age, uh, looking to have a family. One in particular is um, dogs. I had a scary experience with a dog years and years ago. I have the very strange fear of pencils. <laughs> Blunt pencils and the noise it would make on paper. How do your fears or phobias interfere with your life? I'll never get a bargain in a sale. Because <laughs> there's too many people. That's true, <laughs> I agree. Uh, I guess I avoid really crowded places, if it's possible. If I could avoid flying, then I probably would. At school, it was a big problem. I had to use a pen instead of a pencil. Um, and then even someone sitting next to me using a pencil would make me... I don't like height, so and I've been in high places, so I went on a balloon ride a few years ago. Someone who was invited me to go on, and I thought it was an opportunity not to be missed. So I went on it anyway, and thoroughly loved it. You know, I think most of the time we make up the phobia in our head to be worse than it actually is. What fear or phobia would be the most troublesome in the modern world? I suppose not being liked or loved. I would have thought it's something like agoraphobia. Uh, because uh, it would just keep people in their homes and not being able to sort of integrate with society in any way. Perhaps claustrophobia, perhaps especially in London because you are so closed in a lot of the time, so things like lifts and, and also transport, so flying perhaps and, and using trains, tubes, I think that will probably get in the way quite a lot. People like to move and like the freedom and I think to be trapped in a, a small space is quite scary for a lot of people. Thank you.